<laughs> yes. When you feel disturbed by life events, things that happen during the day, just in your daily life, in your practical life. That's where usually you want to leave. You want to get away from what is actually happening because it's inconvenient, it's unpleasant and it's not what you want. It disturbs you, it irritates you, frustrates you, makes you uh, an unpleasant character. It doesn't bring out the best in you when that happens. But what it is, is that you don't want to get away from this. You don't want to avoid it or change it. The only thing you really want is to be heard, is to allow yourself the discomfort, to allow yourself, okay, I feel shitty, it's a challenge, but right now I can't do anything about it, and that's what it is. Maybe you feel powerless, maybe you feel um, just, yeah, irritated, restless. And that is all comes from sensations that you experience in your body. The thoughts, the ideas about it, like that you call it frustration or agony or irritation. These are all labels. We gave it labels, flavors that we give value to. But it's not about the value you give things or thoughts or experiences is about the actual fact that you are experiencing things that might not be so beautiful in your mind. Maybe it's not fitting in the picture that the way you look at yourself or the way you would like to be in this moment or in another moment in the future. So it's easier, it seems, to suppress it, but actually it's not. It's actually giving a lot of friction when you want to get rid of this and when you're suppressing it. It's much easier to allow it to be because the body is present, the body is not resisting, it's the opposite, it's the mind that's suppressing the things that rises in the body. So you have the big help, you have your body, the physical experience. Open up to it. Let it in, even though it challenges you, even though it's intense. Yes, it is intense. Life is incredibly intense. That's what it is, unfortunately, or maybe not unfortunately, that's the dynamic of life and the imagined life that we have. The imagined life is also intense, but it's creating suffering. The not imagined life that's actually happening right now is also very intense. But I suggest to connect with that and to see that that's passing, it's continuously passing, it's continuously changing. And that change is your freedom, the dynamic of the ever-changing sensations, thoughts, emotions that come and go, is your freedom. The imagined world, the imagined ideas, pictures, 
fantasies you have about uh, now or also another moment, the past or the future, they are creating disturbance, they are creating friction, contracted energy, distraction from what's actually here. So allow yourself, let yourself into this intense experience. Unless it is really threatening you, of course. Unless you're in a situation, not an experience, but a situation that is threatening you. Then I advise you to leave. If you can, leave. Go somewhere else where you feel more safe or where you feel less threatened. But when it is just a sensation rising in your body... Uh, a frustration or challenging emotion then leave it leave it alone because it's also leaving you alone and that's what it is and if you want my help in guiding you helping you to see what's really going on you can contact contact me through my website or below the video where all the information is. 